Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, review of music. I have decided to switch up my formatting from ranking to reviewing as I find that that will be significantly easier for me in the future. Uh, anyways, today we are going to be discussing the one-off record uh, Death Pierce Me by Silencer, which is a record which incredibly intrigued me uh, when I first heard of it. I was really captivated by the really cryptic backstory behind it, and it made me really interested in listening to it, because there's a lot of black metal which I've enjoyed, and I haven't really gotten into much uh, depressive suicidal black metal before, so uh, I was interested in seeing what it would be like. And so I listened to it, and I think that overall it's a good album. Uh, However, I think there are certain things that are really good, and there are certain things that are really bad. Uh, and it all sort of evens out to be just sort of a decent listen. And so, first, let me talk about the positives. Uh, this album uh, creates a very good, very melancholic, very hopeless atmosphere that it was going for. Uh, with very effective uh, instrumentation and songwriting which feels very cohesive and doesn't feel like uh it's just switching up things just for the sake of switching up things uh every passage feels like it has a meaning to the song and every single uh element in the song feels like it has a place in the song uh the instrumentals are very very good uh it takes a lot of talent to be able to play uh the way that uh, a lot of black metal musicians do, which I think is a bit overlooked. Uh, but uh, the besides the technical aspect of the instrumentals, they create they're they're very effective in and very pivotal in creating uh, the melancholic atmosphere that uh, they were hoping to maintain throughout the entire record. And uh, obviously, a standout on this record is Natram's vocals. Uh, which, when I first heard, I was, like, like completely put off, terrified. I was like, wow, this is something I've never heard before, and I'm all for it. Uh, and the backstory behind them is even more, honestly, even more disturbing and unnerving uh, than the actual vocals themselves. Uh, as for the themes and the content of this record... Uh, I really like the f like the first four tracks. There are six songs, and the first four tracks I feel like manage to captivate me uh, more than the others. And if it kept that energy going, it could have been like one of my favorite black metal records. And then they had to uh, just randomly switch to anti-Semitic uh, neo-Nazi rhetoric for lyrics, which. Needless to say, it was a bit of a mood killer. Did not really... I was not really enjoying uh, when it got to those parts, which was incredibly disappointing for me, as I was thoroughly enjoying the record, and I uh, was planning on giving it a much higher score than 76, so it was probably going to be in the high 80s. Uh, so, anyway... Now, let's discuss the individual songs. Uh, we start with Death Pierce Me, which is the title track, uh, that has a lot of different passages uh, that all feel like they have an important part in the, out, uh, in the song. And the vocals, while shocking at first, actually add to the melancholic atmosphere uh, quite oddly, I, as they feel like a surrender to despair, uh, the wails of Natram. Uh, the lyrics are incredibly gruesome on this song, and they certainly uh, fit the vocal style. Uh, yeah, overall, this is a very good song. Then, next song, uh, Sterile, Nail Sterile Nails and Thunderbowls, uh, is a bit of, it honestly feels like a bit of a switch up. Uh, from the first song, uh, there's a lot more traditional black metal uh, shrieks and growls, and 
there's more switch ups. It feels like there's even more switch ups because they're more abrupt, which is not something I like about the song. But all the individual pieces work enough to make this a very enjoyable listen. Uh, the lyrics feel like a continuation on the gruesome uh, themes of death and suicide, which are discussed on the previous song. And uh, it, it's equally as gruesome. And overall, this is a very good song. Uh, track three, Tak Taklamakan. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the instrumental is incredibly good on this album. On, on this, sorry, on the song. Uh, this uh, instrumental is the standout on this song. Uh, the structuring, the structuring of the individual sections of lyrics are also an incredible standout. Uh, on this song, there are some. Uh, lyrics which could be interpreted as being anti-semitic, but they don't completely ruin the song for me as they don't really feel like a completely overt hatred of Jewish people. They feel more like just a discussion of Jewish people. It doesn't it feels like a discussion of their history, not saying just negative rhetoric about them. So overall, this song is a very good is a very good song, a standout instrumentally for me. Uh, then we get to track four, The Slow Kill in the Cold, which is easily my favorite song on this album. Uh, Structure-wise, it is perfect. It sort of feels like uh, two different stories involving this, what, what uh, we interpret as the slow kill in the cold. Uh, at first, it feels like a literal slow kill in the cold. Like, it feels like you're in a forest, you're dying from... Uh, from you're, you're dying from the cold and you're reflecting on your life uh, as you're in your final moments. Uh, but then it it changes in the second half. It suddenly, after like the first two verses, it feels like it suddenly becomes about this metaphorical feeling of death. Not actual death itself, but the feeling that you get from death. And it that makes it incredibly that makes it even more engaging and interesting to me and the the way that the instrumentals are structured starting with the opening synth and then going into the straightforward black metal stuff and then uh the switch up from the first section to the second half is incredibly well done and the aggressiveness throughout the uh rest of the song uh sudden and then fading back into the synth uh really feels like the most cohesive song on this album uh and i love it for that this is easily my favorite song on the album uh last uh then track five uh i shall lead you shall follow now if this title isn't already a red flag just look up the lyrics on genius i i'm not going to repeat them they're absolutely disgusting this is this song is completely impossible to defend. It's just hateful Jewish, hateful anti-Jewish rhetoric. And it, the instrumental's fine, but it it's no way a saving grace. It does not save this song at all. This song is really indefensible and it's not really an enjoyable listen at all. Uh, and then lastly, we have the final song, uh, which is this uh, just short, pretty instrumental, uh, which, with just a piano, it seems, and it's a good idea for the end, ending of the album, and I think it uh, is pretty effective, uh, but they had to name it Feeble or You, Sons of Sion. Uh, I, I, do I really need to explain? that? Why? Why? I don't know why, but, but they did it. Just really disappointing, but overall... This record is a, I give it a 76. I think that it has a lot of incredible moments, but it also has uh, a few letdowns, uh, especially towards the end. So yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, Silencer's single studio album, Death Pierce Me. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, and if you have any thoughts, please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you soon.